Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm gonna try my best to do a weekly vlog for like the first time in a big while. Today what I want to figure out are my outfits for the vacation. I'm going to the Dominican Republic with my boyfriend, my sister, her man, and her daughter which is my niece. I'm very excited because this is the first time that me and my sister actually coordinate to go at the same time. It's been a while since like the last time that we did that. So the outfits, the vibe, the ambiance, the energy, I just want everything to be on point and to just mm, love it. I did place an order and I thought it was gonna be too late because I have not ordered in Shein in like years i used to chronically shop online all the time and then it came to a point where like i started my business i got busy so i kind of like forgot about online shopping for a while so yeah i finally placed my order and i'm very excited to go through it all with you and i'm also curious to see what outfits i'm gonna put together because i did create like a canva outline but i tried an outfit that i put together on canva that i didn't really like love in real life these are some examples of what i created and i honestly loved the examples that i put together however there was one that i tried that i thought i was gonna love the most and it didn't come together so i'm gonna see if i could swap it out with like other outfits see how i can make it work and yeah so let's get started We're on vacation very soon so let's try some outfits together that i'm gonna be taking with me don't pay attention to my hair because it's looking a little bit crazy but look at this outfit that i just put together the best part that i love about this outfit is that these are actually shorts in the back they run perfectly <laughs> This one is one of my most casual ones. I wanted it to be more of like a Sex in the City vibe, but I don't know if I'm able to achieve that with my top. Let me know what you guys think. Should I swap out the top? My mom says that it looks a little bit too long, but I think it looks just fine. But let me know if I should make it work with a different top. I love this idea, but I feel like the skirt doesn't fit me as tight as it should, so it doesn't really give that much. I'm gonna see if I'm able to adjust the skirt a little bit. All right, that's all I've got right now because I'm so exhausted and so hungry and I just, I need a break. I'm also having so much trouble putting simple outfits together. It's actually insane, but I'm definitely gonna have more try-ons on my YouTube channel and I'm also gonna be vlogging the entire experience. So don't forget to also hang out with me over there. It's one o'clock and I'm still trying on outfits because I took a break, I ate a little bit, I snacked, I scrolled, I just, I was rotting on the couch but i love the way that this one fit on my body i love how secure it feels on the top because i just hate feeling like my top is about to fall off and i'm about to flash everyone this one is so cute so let's try it on with this yes yes and yes i feel so cute i cannot wait to wear this with my hair out like what look at the body i found this beautiful look at this it's so cute. I'm waiting on Georgie to tie it in the back just to give you the full picture. I would have to tape my boobs up because it cuts right here. So, como que tengo un poquito ablaña. How freaking cute. I could wear this with my heels. An even more casual vibe, I could wear it with my sandals. <laughs> and guess what, you guys? This is a skirt. I'm shook. This is a freaking skirt and it looks so good. This is my mom's skirt. So that's why I'm able to wear it as a dress because her skirts are very long. <laughs> you have Mr. Gray here just chilling. But like I said, my boobs have to be a little bit up because I don't like the way that it looks like this. But what do we think? Just like with a little cut right here. The red heels or the sandals. I love how it cuts right here. Like that is so cute. All right, let me continue putting shit. Okay, we're officially in Marshalls trying to look for products as you can see what's hard about this is that i know what i want i just don't see what i want so i'm like torn i'm also super nervous because it's my first time actually recording in public and it's very overwhelming and overstimulating being around other people and i'm talking to myself right now so that's crazy <laughs> this brand is really really good i didn't even know they had this i don't know if i actually want to try something new on this trip i need to stick to what's already known that works uno shorts ahí que yo tenía Yo tengo una similar, ya, yeah. a la que yo te mandé la foto. Yeah, but it's okay. Look at this top that I'm gonna be able to wear with my pink skirt. And this could add some texture to it, so it looks pretty cute. Tengo vergüenza. Con qué? Con grabar. Con la última. Look, I also found this body milk, but I don't know if I want to get it because I'm scared of how it's gonna react on my skin. I don't know. I have to see, and I also. I love the scent. I don't know if it's a scent though that is gonna blend well with my other skincare stuff. I also found this. It's from Grassroots. This one smells so delicious. It's vanilla almond. And this one I'm able to layer with like all of my more expensive perfumes, like the ones for the night out. Huelelo. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. You know what I am gonna look for? I'm gonna try to look for a red bag, oh, even though it's mine. That's what I need <laughs> for a lot of my outfits. No, no. <laughs> I live for the Halloween decorations. It looks so freaking cute. Oh my God. This one though, I wish I lived in a house so I could decorate. Like I'm telling you, when I get a house, or even when I rent a house, I don't care. I just want a house. My place is gonna be so me. I don't even want like a big space or whatever. Like I just want a comfortable space that fits me, my me, my family, my dogs, and beautiful decor in my business stuff. <laughs> And a lot of space for the cars because we need a lot of space. That's all I want, and that's what I'm gonna get. We finally oh, sure. came up. Georgie was the only one that got stuff because I didn't really find. Oh, I didn't really find anything to be honest. Girls, the goodies are secured, and I'm not gonna get that much stuff because girls. the one, the one that I wanted. Girls, I'm talking to my girls. The ones that I wanted. Good one. This is my favorite fucking moisturizer ever. I could wear this on my face, on my body, and it won't irritate me. And my dad said he had like packs of, of soap bar, so I'm gonna use that to wash my body. Then I'm gonna follow up with this body wash, so I'm, I am gonna get this. And for the hair mask, I am torn. Should I get the hyaluronic acid one or should I get the coconut milk one? This one is for normal and dry hair. This one is for dry hair, so I'm torn. We'll see what I end up getting. I was torn, but after reading the description, I was convinced to get this one. This one is basically just for like hydration and, reju and rejuvenation. And this one is specifically mentions. This one mentions a nourishing treatment for damaged, dry, and color treated hair. That's exactly what I have. I mean, I don't have damaged hair, but I have color treated hair, and that's exactly what I want to work towards. Good morning, everyone. I'm currently getting ready to wax my underarms. I barely have any hairs, as you can see. I waxed maybe about two to three weeks ago, but I have a little bit of new growth coming in, and I wanted to take that out right before my trip tomorrow. Oh my god, can you believe that I'm leaving tomorrow? I still can't believe it. I'm gonna be waxing with the sugar dough, the original sugaring paste. I have a bunch of the smaller ones that. I don't know what happened to it, but they're kind of ruined and they don't... I could only use them with this and I can't use it on its own like a hard wax. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. It's even better that I'm going to be using this because I just want to get all of those small little hairs that I didn't get last time. I didn't really care for them last time because I knew I was going to do this like the day before I left to DR. This is also the paste that I do my Brazilians with. Yes, I do my Brazilians at home. I do it myself. It's really not that painful once you master how to do it on your own. But keep in mind, I've been doing this for like the past couple of years so i do have some experience you first need to make sure that you have no oils no creams no deodorant so i'm gonna be wiping that off with some wipes i can't believe that my trip is tomorrow to be very honest with you it's one of those things that i felt like i was in such a long waiting period when i'm like okay i'm gonna do this when i go over there i'm gonna do that when i go over there and it's like now that it's finally here i have to get out of the waiting period and i have to like <gasps> wake up <laughs> it's so crazy because i'm going with my boyfriend for like the first time ever this is our first time traveling together out of country also the first time that, that we got on a plane together i mean it may sound so minor but it's something that like my 15 year old sub always dreamed of i met him when i was 15 and i would always picture like these trips and i'd be like oh my god i can't wait to be older so that we're able to do that and now that it's finally here it's like oh what a dream. So I'm very excited to say the least. Okay, so now that this is fully dry, we're gonna go ahead and use the paste. If it's necessary, sometimes if you're like still sweating a little bit, I go ahead and use a little bit of powder. But like I said, it's not really necessary. I also had a flare-up on my underarms, which caused a lot of hyperpigmentation. I don't know if you remember from like my wash day video, I think it was. I went to the dermatologist and I found out a few things that I have, which was a little bit mind-blowing to me because I did not know that I had those things and it kind of shocked me so i still have a topic dermatitis which is something that I'm, i'll probably always live with i was diagnosed when i was born and i did mention that to them i'm so sorry if it's like a little bit loud i don't know if you guys remember from like my tiktok videos and my instagram videos if you follow me over there i highly suggest that you do because i'm very active over there my scalp went through some shit i'm not gonna lie my scalp was oozing a lot when i had the allergic reaction and that caused this because i did not know that my seborrheic dermatitis let's just, let's just call it my scalp dermatitis because the word is a little bit complicated <laughs> so because i didn't know that my scalp dermatitis got very flared up because of the dye 
allergic reaction that I had. I was putting my sacred hair growth oil for like my itchiness and the dandruff, which did work temporarily, but it only made things worse because it was feeding my seborrheic dermatitis. That type of dermatitis kind of thrives on oils and moisture and humidity, so which is why it also got even worse during the summer. Keep in mind, I dyed my hair in June. So as the days get hotter and my scalp is getting more of that moisture, humidity, and just you know all of that my scalp was actually getting worse but now that i went i love to know what i was going through and they diagnosed me with seborrheic dermatitis which here we are today i feel like i got a little bit off track with what i was doing but i just want to give you a little bit of a backstory because i thought it was interesting <laughs> going back to my underarms i got diagnosed with this other thing that i'm like what the heck it is called intertrigo i remember once upon a time my flare-up got so bad that it got intertrigo and honestly like i didn't i thought it was just like a regular atopic dermatitis flare-up but when i saw pictures of intertrigo and the fact that it could spread to different parts of your body and like your most intimate areas as well that actually scared me and i don't play about my flare-ups anymore because we don't want that so this is what my underarm used to look like this is what my underarm is currently looking like keep in mind i already went to the dermatologist when my underarm was already healed i only had a little bit of slight sensitivity i'm gonna say whenever i did shower the only way i would go about treating it is probably using like an anti-itch cream and layering it with the timeless essence body water that i created for myself you could also try the body butter for yourself in case you're ever interested in suffer from eczema it's really great but now that i've been using the topical steroids after it was kind of healed it just took it away completely like now my underarms are back to normal the only thing i'm working on right now is the hyperpigmentation that flare up left on my underarms wow i feel like i was yapping for a lot <laughs> let's get to sugaring right now i'm gonna apply like a thin layer and i'm just gonna make sure just i apply it everywhere i forgot to check where the hair growth is actually going make sure everything was spread it out evenly now i'm gonna be using one of these i'm gonna rub it a little bit just to make sure that everything is sticking correctly usually you're supposed to pull in the direction that your hair is growing with sugar dough if i'm not mistaken but i'm gonna pull both ways just to make sure i got both sides to be honest that's just how i do it but follow the instructions if anything and this is what we got to be honest i don't even flinch i'm so used to like the pain but look at all the hairs i got that was so pleasing to hear like that so now we're gonna do the opposite way i'm actually gonna use the same one yeah, I'm gonna use the same one. I don't know why I did that. I had to like program it in my head how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use the side that has no wax. So that's why I'm using the same strip. One, two. We got all those hairs that were a little bit all over the place. I hate when I have like that one little hair that doesn't want to go away, but I'll just tweeze it out. But, all right, so this is my underarm that I just finished sugaring. This one is the one that I have yet to sugar. This one is also the one that I had the flare up in and the fact that it's like completely healed, oh, that makes me so happy. All right, girlies, I just finished doing both underarms very quickly. I also didn't make a mess, which is what I love about sugaring. It's just, it's easy, it's quick, and it's effective. These are the two strips that I made and the way that I wash them is I just put them in hot water, Make sure all of the hair and the sugar paste is gone and then you just put them to dry it's literally that easy same thing for this part that i was using as you can tell it has sugaring paste and i just put in hot water make sure everything is rinsed off and i'm good and another thing that i wanted to mention is that whenever you're sugaring and let's say it's like a little bit too painful for you to handle you just don't want to do it anymore what do i do like what do i do in this moment literally you could just wash it off and try again another time do it with warm to hot water of course don't burn yourself and you're literally good to go because that moment has happened to me so many times with my brazilian during the beginner stages i just wash it off and try again and it's great <laughs> it's a lifesaver i'm finally styling my hair this is what we're working with so far one second whoa i got a little bit dizzy just doing that low iron girly i'm styling with my tried and true i'm gonna be using the lust brands the step three and i'm also gonna be using the irish sea moss gel i love this combo it's safe it's what defines my curls to the gods <laughs> and i believe it is also humidity approved so that's why i'm using them if you haven't watched my wash day routine already i first use this one all over my head and then the last step i'm gonna do is i'm gonna divide into a little section how i'm doing right now and then i'm gonna go ahead and use 
the gel and then apply it all over my head again anyways I just go step by step and I'm currently in the face of just using the gel at the same time though I wanted to like answer a couple of my most asked questions that I've been getting as of recently I also asked on my Instagram what are some questions you guys would love for me to answer and that's what I'm gonna be doing as I'm doing my hair okay so question number one how does your hair look so healthy even after dyeing it prior to dyeing my hair I used to go like two weeks without washing my hair I wasn't really like in love with my hair or doing my hair because I couldn't really find products that would work. When I finally did, I started taking care of my hair but probably not as consistent as I wanted to be but then after I dyed my hair, I made a promise to myself and I said that this chapter of my life is going to be just, just like a whole new era of me and that also includes taking care of my curls. I also knew that me dyeing my hair this color would get a lot of attention from people and just in general. That's where astrology comes into play and also the Hollywood hair theory. <laughs> it is so real and it has honestly changed my life because ever since I dyed my hair, I kind of found my audience. So going back to your question, the reason why my hair looks so healthy is because I honestly take so much care of it. Not only am I constantly like taking vitamins or supplements, but I'm also like oiling my ends. I get consistent trims and I have a really good hair care routine that also includes deeply weak conditioning. Deep conditioning slash hair masking is key. Did you have any fears when creating soul made care? <laughs> I didn't have any fears as far as like starting it when I first started because I didn't create it thinking that it would be a business. It was just a place where I genuinely wanted to share my creations and like my solutions to my eczema journey since I do suffer from eczema as I've mentioned previously in other videos. I would say that the only fear that I had was that my parents would constantly tell me that I'm wasting their money. <laughs> like buying the ingredients and like making my own concoctions and trying to like sell them they literally used to tell me that all the time until they started seeing the orders come in i'm not gonna sit here and be like oh my god my parents were so supportive they were supportive of the idea and the potential but keep in mind i have dominican parents they are probably not as open-minded as i wish they could be yes you're not as open-minded they're probably gonna watch my video and be like what are you talking about i mean in general they have grown a lot now as adults and as like parents and i will say that constantly hearing like oh my god you're just wasting your money why don't you do something else why don't you get a real job that's actually very discouraging to hear and even though i didn't mean for it to be a business like i wish i would have had more support in the beginner stages versus when they actually started seeing the results of it so i would say that one of my fears or like one of my biggest concerns was me constantly trying to have the approval of my parents i feel like as a firstborn daughter from like my mom's side and as someone that's you know becoming a role model and this and that to my younger siblings that was something that kind of used to eat me up alive a lot <laughs> the fear of failure and the fear of my parents being right like oh i'm just wasting their money you know something as simple as that it just it became a huge problem for me but i've outgrown that so much and it's definitely something that sometimes it gets in my head but I think that I am stronger than that and I don't need other people to believe in my dream in order for me to get shit done. I've proven that once, which means that I could do it again. I just finished my hair. Look how cute and juicy it looks. I'm just gonna let it sit before I start diffusing. But in the meantime, let me answer a couple more questions. What is your favorite perfume? That is such a hard question considering that I have a favorite perfume for like different categories. Oh my god, that is so hard actually. One favorite perfume that I really, really love, I feel like it's also a scent that I get a lot of compliments on. I don't know if I'm gonna say this correctly, but it, it is the Valentino Voce Viva. That scent smells so delicious for every occasion. And I remember that the last time I went to the Dominican Republic, I was wearing that perfume along, like mixing it with something else. And that combo got me compliments every single time. What's your top favorite styling product if you could only choose one? I can't choose just one because I'll never style my hair with just one. So I'm gonna choose a combo and it would probably be the one that I use today, which is this one right here. The next question is, How's your anxiety? I don't really get that much anxiety anymore as much as I used to. And for last year, after everything that I went through, I was surprised that I didn't get more anxiety and anxious and panic attacks versus the previous years. I don't really make anxiety my whole personality anymore. I do go through some anxious moments sometimes and it passes. But I can definitely tell you that I've learned how to manage it in my own way. I've also learned how to talk myself through and how to self-soothe, which is very important when you go through that. But yeah, I'm okay. I'm more confident. I'm not as anxious as I used to be and I love that for me. What is your biggest goal in life? I have so many goals in life and things that I want to achieve but I would say that my biggest goal, my biggest purpose 
is to inspire people and to remind people that it is possible to achieve your dream life coming from where I come from because I once thought that it was impossible for a girl like me to get everything I've ever dreamed of my goal is to inspire people and let them know like yes it happened for me it could also happen for you too we are currently oh, getting ready to leave oh, it's been very stressful this is how things are currently looking I have to take out my hair but I'm gonna do that as like the last thing she is ugly Aiden doesn't like my outfit he says that it's too pink and that I look like Barbie. And I told him that's exactly the vibe that we're going for. Girls, I just took my hair out of my bonnet and look at what the hair is giving. Oh my God, it looks so cute. This is the bonnet that I use. It's the Afrona by Woven Royals, I believe. I am so obsessed with this bonnet. I did not even need like a hair tie to tie up my hair first and a pineapple to then apply my bonnet. All I have to do is just put it as is and then tie it, do a little bun if I want to, and I'm good to go. I'm definitely gonna be taking this on the airplane with me. But anyways, this is the end of my vlog. I'm finally leaving to my trip. I am so excited. I'm also excited to like vlog this upcoming week considering that I'm gonna be doing more, having much more fun. My sister is coming, so that's gonna be exciting. So yeah, don't forget to keep up with me on Instagram and on TikTok because I also do like a lot of different type of content over there as well. And before I go, I had a video that finally hit 1K on YouTube. Like what? That has always been my dream. And now that it happened, it makes me so happy and I'm so close to hitting 500 followers. Well, 500 subscribers. But what? Like that is crazy. Literally a week ago, I was just talking about how I'm so close to hitting 400. Now I'm so close to hitting 500. As a small creator, that feels very rewarding because sometimes it gets really discouraging, but this only just, mm, it definitely makes me want to go harder. So I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.